Hello everyone. So I wanted to share something with all of you. Now in case you follow my videos, I'm sure you know that I believe in optimizing everything possible. Now, when it comes to optimization, of course, it doesn't really mean that I don't really want to uh, compromise on the quality. It's more about finding a balance. And this video is actually about uh, Caden Life versus FFmpeg. Now, my first priority is always to use uh, FFmpeg for my video uh, production, for example. Now, I make a lot of videos and I think it is very important for me to make a lot of videos because number one, I like it. It gives me an opportunity to learn, also to improve my communication skills. But also when, when I make videos, it goes out and that is actually my marketing. And I need that because I am a consultant. I, of course, you know, need people to reach out to me and that is how it has been. And it is great. Now, recently, or in, fa in fact, I should say, I, I think earlier this year, I came to know that, you know, at, uh, YouTube, they are now promoting shorts. Now, I wanted to, of course, make shorts, not because I uh, like making shorts, but because I think it is a requirement. If you are on YouTube, then uh, you are missing out if you're, not, if you're not making shorts. And I did try making some shorts from my mobile phone and uh, I didn't like it because I prefer to, you know, do all the video recording from my wherever possible, wherever applicable, I wanted to do it from my uh, laptop. And in fact, I tried making a short video using laptop, it works. What you need to do, I mean, if you're thinking using FFmpeg, you can actually define a region in your script. That is what I did. But the resolution was because my computers, I think you need to, if you're, if you're making a short video, then you need 1080 by 1920 resolution, which is like, you know, at least HD, full HD. And uh, I tried making it, but the resolution, I, I had to basically uh, find like a region here in, on my screen and then I recorded it. It works. It works perfectly. But the main thing is that because YouTube, people watch these videos, uh, maybe when they are uh, somewhere, maybe on a train or maybe in a library or when they are sleeping. And usually you need like subtitles on top of it, right? That is how things are. And that is, that is where the problem is. I, I mean, making a video is not a problem, but adding those subtitles is a pain. And... Uh, I did try, of course, FFmpeg. It is, it works. Um, you, using FFmpeg, you can. Uh, uh, I think I shared like in one of my video how to do it, but the but the main challenge is to prepare that uh, uh, SRT file, and you need to basically uh, use that SRT file when you are uh, generating the video. So basically, you take the input video, which is already let's say less than one minute and then you prepare the SRT file and then you generate the final outcome. It works. I tried it, it works because I wanted to uh, do it efficiently. But uh, um, doing it using a DSLR camera for me, what, what I ended up doing, I basically record these videos. I have st started recording these videos from my DSLR and uh, of course the video quality is good. But uh, I don't really use the FFmpeg script to crop it because writing those uh, uh, subtitles, it takes time and uh, maybe I'll try to, you know, I'll find a way to sp speed it up. I, when I tried Caden Live, it is actually much quicker because in Caden Live, you do have the option to insert a subtitle. If you go to subtitles, which I believe I showed you in, in, in my previous video, but uh, uh, when you are doing it, uh, when, you, when you are doing it using uh, Caden Live, you also have the opportunity to, because not only you are doing, you are inserting sub subtitles, and you can do it in one go. Basically, of course, you know, you if you want to work on the SRT file, you are looking at the videos and you are writing the, uh, like in the timestamp, uh, as like your actual subtitles, and then you are, again, running a script to generate the final outcome, like the video. When you're using something like Kaden Life, you can actually do it in one go. Basically, by the time you write the subtitles on the track, you're actually done and you can then export it to MP4. And I thought I'll publish it with you. Of course, FFmpeg. Uh, the only problem is that if, if, if you're recording a video, then of course you have to transfer the video somewhere on the computer, which is of course not really the problem. But uh, the main problem is that uh, the SRT file or sub adding subtitles actually takes time. 
and I wanted to of course do it in and because when you're doing it in in Kid and Life, you're actually doing it along with the video, uh, which is of course another plus point, which is not really possible using FFmpeg. I mean, it is in a way possible, but uh, when you're doing it uh, on that on that like when you're looking at the waveform, you're actually more accurate. And uh, I thought I'll probably you know, share it with you. I'll keep you posted if I can find a better way. I'm sure there is a better way. I mean, using Kid and Life, I learned that you can also do it. You can also generate the subtitles. I think there is some uh, engine, I guess. So if you go to subtitles, add a subtitle, you can actually generate the subtitles. There is an option here, uh, which I don't know how it works, <laughs> to be honest, because I, I think we have to install some uh, some some software. And uh, is it speech recognition? No, it is not speech recognition. I think it is somewhere when you edit a subtitle. And uh, I wanted to, of course, you know, give it a try, uh, which I will do. So I think you, uh, I forgot the name of this, of the engine. I think it is something called as Vox uh, or something, something like that. So I will definitely give it a try and uh, let you know how it goes. I think while I'm doing it, I think you have to go to settings, configure Kaden Live, and then you have to go to, uh, is it uh, speech to text? or I think it is speech to text. Let me just close this. Let me just try to find this option. I think you have to go to, s come on, I think there is some, okay, let me try again. Yes, so you have to basically install some engine, VUSK or Whisper. So I might do that and uh, I'll, I'll let you know. I think if we, if we can do that quickly, I'm sure if we, we can also do something with FFmpeg. If you know the answer, let me know. And uh, I think that would be ideal, right? I'm sure some some someone is doing it. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out, I think preparing the SRT file is probably the most painful thing. <laughs> and then uh, uh, my first preference would be to use FFmpeg. Anyways, that is it. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.